It was a turning point in the Iranian revolution. Ayatollah Khomeini arriving in Tehran in February 1979 after 14 years in exile in Iraq and France. With Khomeini on the flight from Paris was Abul Hassan Bani Sadr, who later became the Islamic Republic's first president. Today, Bani Sadr lives in exile in France. He fled Iran in 1981, but his memories of that flight 40 years ago are vivid. Some feared the plane would be shot down. Naturally, we were scared, but the excitement was stronger. After 30 years of exile, to see Iran and the people, it was more than we could imagine. The enthusiasm, the joy. Bani Saad helped Khomeini during his exile in France in 1978. He says France was chosen because Iranians didn't need visas at the time and there was freedom of expression. The French government was an ally of Iran's Shah but didn't prevent Khomeini's arrival, saying he was free to visit. For nearly five months, the Ayatollah lived in the countryside near Paris. It was in this quiet village, on this street, that Ayatollah Khomeini planned the Iranian revolution. And each day, dozens of his followers from across Europe would come here to watch him pray and listen to him preach. The French government had hoped that Khomeini would bring Iran democracy, but their view changed after 1979. Once France realized this wasn't just a transitory state and Khomeini's role wasn't only symbolic, the French began to rethink. Then events such as the U.S. embassy hostage crisis meant France really changed its mind. In the 1980s, France backed Baghdad in the Iran-Iraq war and relations with Tehran broke down. They continued to be strained for decades. Relations improved in 2015 when France signed the Iran nuclear deal. They're far from warm today, but President Emmanuel Macron supports dialogue with Tehran. Strategically, Paris sees Iran as the only stable power in the Middle East. Egypt has disappeared, Iraq and Syria are over, Saudi Arabia isn't yet a great power, so President Macron, like Obama, believes Iran is the region's only country of the future. Last year, the French government accused Iranian security forces of plotting to kill Iranian MEK opposition activists on French soil. It was the latest sign for France that 40 years after the revolution, Iran is some way from being the reliable ally that Paris has long wished for. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Neuf Le Chateau, France.